everyone, my name is Abby and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be doing kind of an update video. So back in June, I posted a video called my top 10 books on my TBR. This was a video that I compiled together of the top 10 books that had the most reviews on my TBR. So kind of, I guess, like the biggest books uh, in popularity wise, the most read on my TBR, the most reviews. Uh, and I kind of made a pact with myself in that video that I wanted to try to make those 10 books a priority and make sure that I read them in the year of 2018. We are a few weeks into October. I still have about two and a half months left before the end of 2018 and I kind of just want to do a, um, a recap. I haven't watched this video since the day that I posted it. I really, I remember some books and I know that I'm kind of behind on some of them so I just kind of want to see how bad it is. I want to see what books I really need to focus on and I also need to see if there's some that I'm deciding that I'm just not going to read it all. I really want to see what's going to happen. So we are going to watch it together. I'm super excited and let's go ahead and get into it. Reading. I decided that these 10 books that I researched are going to be ones that I am for sure going to read in 2018. And we're, we're going to go out, through these 10 books. We're going to talk them a little bit. Some of these surprised me with how many ratings they had. Some of them did not. So let's go ahead and get on into it. So we're going to be talking about the books from the lowest number of rating to the very highest that these top 10 have. So the, so the first one we're talking about is A Darker Shade of Magic by V. E. Schwab. Okay, so first one being A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, which I have read. Hoorah! Uh, so we're off to a good start. Uh, a Darker Shade of Magic by Victoria Schwab, I actually read back in August, so I can successfully say we are one for one. Awesome. Okay. Right, so, so the next book is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Aurelius. <laughs> Yes, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. That is another book that I have read. Wow! <laughs> um, so two for two right now, which is awesome. So yes, I read this book a few months ago now. I think, did I read that in August as well? Something like that. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. Oh, I probably, I guess I should probably be talking about uh, how I enjoyed them and things like that. So, um, A Darker Shade of Magic, I wound up giving a four out of five stars. Really, really enjoyed it, and I've just been continuously enjoying the series more and more as I've been reading the other books. Um, for Aristotle and Dante, I gave that one a five out of five stars. I loved that book so, so much. I just thought that it, it just means so much, and I really, really, really liked it. I just loved Ari so, so much as a main character. Like, I just connected with him on a level that I have not connected with a main character in such a long time. So it just made me really, really happy, and I am I really, and really enjoyed it. All right, so we are two for two. What is next? And that is All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. And... <laughs> Okay, um, All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. So, let's see. I want to see what I had to say about this one. I don't know what it's about. Why would I know what any of these books are about? This one, from what I understand, is about this guy named Theodore, this girl named Violet, and they meet. It says, on the ledge of the bell tower at school. And it is unclear who saves whom. So, apparently this is going to be like a really gut-wrenching book about saving yourselves and friendship and finding the real meaning to life and stuff so yeah cool this might actually be another book that i might bring with me to um to the beach all the right places by jennifer niven is one that i actually wound up taking off my shelf i actually so i've been slowly kind of purging my tbr of really all and any contemporaries that do not immediately speak to me when I read the synopsis just because I have so many books on my DVR right now that are ones I'm super excited about. They're the ones that belong in the two genres that I love most and that is fantasy and historical fiction and that's really all that my TBR is kind of at this point. Like I have gotten rid of so many of the books that do not fall into those two categories and I'm kind of completely okay with that. Jennifer Niven, I actually had two of her books on my TBR and I actually wound up taking both of them off. I really, really doubt it's ever gonna happen. So that is one that I will probably never get to. All right, let's see what's next. Let's see what's next. Seven, Seven on the list. I, this one does not is surprise me because of how popular this one is. And that is Shatter Me by Taharo Mafi. And this one. Ooh, 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 
was Shattered Me by Tahir Mafi. I read that. In fact, I read the entire series. Yes. So yeah, um, I this is the, probably going to be one of the only ones that I actually grab just because it's within arm's reach of me. But yes, Shatter Me by Tahir Mafi. It is the first book in the Shatter Me trilogy technically, but now there now she is expanding the world. So there's going to be, um, so I read the first book in like the next trilogy and there's supposed to be two more to come out after that I think. Um, but yes, I read this book. I gave this one I think a three out of five stars. For me it definitely is not like one of my favorite series that I I've read this year um, but I really just enjoyed the writing style I think you could definitely even see from these books how lyrical and how beautiful Tahir Mafi's writing is and it just gets her writing in my opinion just gets better and better as you read more of her book but I thought that it definitely had a lot of good stuff working for it. I really did like the the last one in the trilogy because I love because Kenji is one of my favorite characters and I think that he played a really really big vital role in that one and I'm super excited for her new book that's coming out soon very large expansive sea I'm very excited for that one so the next one that I'm super excited about that I did not think would be on this TBR at uh -huh. all but I'm really happy about and I know I'm gonna be reading soon that is the red pyramid by yeah. Rick Riordan honestly the fact the red pyramid by Rick Riordan heck yes I'm actually doing so well with this list uh, it's probably all gonna go downhill from here, but yes, The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. That is the first book in the Kane trilogy by, again, Rick Riordan. It's all the way over there, so I'm not going to grab it. But yes, I have read that book as well as the entire trilogy. I read that uh, as part of the Booktubeathon back in August. Wow, wow, I'm killing it. Um, love that series so much. I love the Kane siblings. Um, it is Egyptian mythology. If you are a fan of his other writings of Percy Jackson and Magnus Chase, like definitely give Kane trilogy a, a try if you haven't. And I, I really think you'll enjoy it. I had a blast with that series. It was super, super fun. Okay, what's next? What's next? So this next one is actually the one that surprised me the most okay. about this list. I was not expecting this mm -hmm. one to hit at all, and that is Graceling by Kristen oh. Kishores. Okay, yeah, that one I have not read yet. Graceling by Kristen Kishore. I still have that one on my TBR. And to be honest, that one has really not been on my radar at all. I just have so many other fantasy and historical fictions that I really want to read so much more. But I have heard amazing things about this trilogy. And I do want to pick it up eventually. I just, ugh, I don't know if that's going to be a 2018 thing or if that's going to get shoved back into 2019. Number four. Number four on the list and this one is a book that has been on my TBR for a while. I'm terrified of reading this book because it's so big, oh, but is. here I we are. It's gonna oh, happen. Oh, it's oh, gonna be a oh. thing and that is The Name oh, of the Wind shoot. by Patrick Rothfuss. No, this isn't what I thought it was. Crap. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Um, okay. Still on my TBR. Have not read. Yikes. <laughs> what can I say? That is a, a series that I do really want to read. It's been staring at me on my TBR for so long. And I would like to. They're just, oh, there's just so many books that I want to read. This is so hard. I sincerely thought this was a different book. And I think that that book that I'm thinking about is probably going to be next. Just don't know when. Maybe put that on my November. Oh, it's just so hard. There's just so many books. I'm running out of time. I will definitely try though. That will definitely be, I will definitely try. And number three really, really shocked me. Two and one, I, I get, they don't surprise me at all. But this one surprised me with okay. how many ratings this one has oh, and that is Eleanor and Park, Park by Rainbow Row. Okay so if you guys have been following me for a while then you guys know that Eleanor and Park wound up going on my September TBR um because I pulled it out of the TBR jar and I wound up not reading it and kind of like telling myself that I'm putting it down for a while. That is just another book because again it's a contemporary so it's just not really a book that is on my radar whatsoever. I just have so many other books I'd rather read so it is still on my TBR shelf. I didn't like take it off to unhaul. I'm still holding on to it but that is definitely not a book that is going to be a priority. Uh, if I wind up getting to it, cool but it's again it's not gonna be a um, 
not a not a super priority for this moment in time number two on number the two. list this one is actually pretty close to the uh, to Eleanor and Park this one has six hundred and sixty five thousand three hundred and fifty and that is all the light we cannot see by Anthony Doerr heck Yes, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Yes, I finally, finally, finally read that book and I gave it a five out of five stars. It was so good. It was so sad, but it was so good. I like my emotions reading that book. Oh my goodness. I was not ready. I was not prepared and I was just a mess but such a good book. Highly, highly recommend if you are interested at all in historical fictions and you will love it. So I know what number one is. I remember it because I remember how big of a jump of ratings it was and how ridiculous it was. And this? Then we are at number one spot. The most popular book on my TBR in this like the amount of ratings that this book has jumped Huge. so high from that one to this one like I actually can't believe it. So if y'all have a guess you should totally pause this video right now, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think it's gonna be and then we'll see if you guys were correct. So this one has a whopping 1,428,728 ratings as of right now. Crazy. Insanity. And that Crazy. is the Book Thief uh, by Marcus Zusak. Uh, 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 the Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Uh, the number one on this on this one, and I have not read it yet. Um, I want to really, really bad. I think I just I keep getting so afraid because people keep telling me how much I'm gonna love it and how amazing this book is and. And all of that stuff and I think it's just scaring me it's making me not want to read it because I'm so afraid that I'm going to hype it up so much that I'm not going to be able to enjoy it but I definitely want to read it soon because his new book Bridge of Clay is coming out soon and I know I'm gonna want to get that but I really do want to read the book thief first just to get a feel for his writing style get a feel for do I like the way that he writes his book but I really do want to read that I think it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be really really sad I for some reason keep wanting to push it back into December that's like when I'm keep telling myself that I really want to read it and I'm like I don't know why I want to read such a sad book in like one of the most like festive months of the year I don't really know but that's kind of just where I'm at right now that's what I've really been wanting to do super exciting I'm really glad that I got to, I kind of got to do this update because it really does show what books I want to try to prioritize for the rest of the year uh, so of course the Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, um, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusa, and then if I can get the Gracelings on, that would be pretty great. Um, I think those were kind of like the three biggest ones that I really would like to try to to get to. So we'll see what happens, um, and I will definitely do like a final update and kind of talk about it a little bit once we get into like the end of December, beginning of January, when all of the huge yearly wrap up type videos start to happen. So that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know if there are any like really big books that you guys have been really hoping to read have you read any of these books what are your thoughts what are your feels on some of them please no spoilers since a lot of these I haven't read yet uh, and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button down below if you'd like to join this little family and yes thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video goodbye